Venga, vamos. Welcome to Park B. Uh, here we are uh, doing the doing the business. Uh, down here is the is the liquid part of the wine on the bottom of the tank, which is coming straight out. Do do a close up on the on the part of the Look at that. This is the pure wine coming out. And up here, up here, what we're doing is we're manually taking out the, the skins like that. Pouring them. Pouring them. We're pouring them into the into the into the press. Like that. Look here. This is one of the one of the clusters that uh, that we threw in without uh, without crushing, and it's well fermented. So what we do here is we fill the fill the press up, let, let it all drain out, and then press it down, press it down, press it down, and um, and we put all the finished wine into this into this other tank. Look at that. And then we pour this into, into this tank over here. And this is the finished wine, which uh, we should get 500 liters from that. And then we're just gonna, we don't know what we're gonna do with it yet, because depending on the tastings, we'll either release it as a young wine, depending on how it evolves, or otherwise we have the possibility of putting it into a, an old barrel to, to oxygenize a little bit. But not much. We don't want to turn it into an oak soup, do we? We'll just uh, oak it lightly if necessary. Otherwise, uh, we'll drink it young. This is Graciano, which is quite unusual to find, as I'm sure you all know, uh, as a 100% uh, variety. Usually it's mixed in Rioja, as you all know. If, um, if you've ever drunk a bottle of Rioja, it's not pure Trentanillo. Usually it's, uh, it's got a little bit of Graciano. But you never know. It might be interesting, depending on the on the tastings. End of part B, you know, and we'll be back later after the commercial break. Cut. <laughs>